Hey guys, you know I get a lot of feedback about my DIY solar setup on my RV, specifically these uh, flexible solar panels, which you know are typically designed for grid tie applications, but obviously work really well for RVs. But uh, today I wanted to demonstrate why, if you decide to go this route, that you may need uh, an MPPT solar charge controller uh, over a PWM solar charge controller. And today I'm going to tell you why and I'll give you a quick demonstration. So most of us who have RVs have a 12 volt system in our RVs. So that means we're using, you know, 12 volts out of our batteries to run our 12 volt DC um, appliances. So when 12 volt batteries charge, typically, whether it's an MPPT or a PWM charge controller, it's going to charge the batteries at that specific level um, that a 12 volt battery needs, which is typically at 14 point four to fourteen point six volts so if you have panels that can generate you know in that range so for example if my panels generated 15 volts you know it's gonna have what it needs to be able to to charge at uh, fourteen point six volts and it uh, will use the incoming voltage and pass that through to the batteries Whatever's coming in on a PWM system is what's going to be going out. Um, for example, you know, if I have uh, you know, 18 volts coming in on my PWM system and right at that point my, my charge controller says I need to charge at 14.6 volts, it's going to take that 14.6 volts out of the 18 and use that to charge my batteries. Now let's say for example you have uh, panels like mine that uh, are essentially intended for higher voltage systems. Um, mine typically could generate between 30 and 45 volts, so that's well above the charging voltage for my batteries. Okay, so taking a look at my inputs here, right now my uh, solar panels are generating about about 30 volts, and uh, it's coming in at about 5.8, you know, up to you know been close to around 6 amps, so about 30 volts and 6 amps. That excess voltage in a PWM system, that higher output from your panel is just basically wasted and you're not doing anything with it. The MPPT charge controllers will actually not ignore that extra voltage coming in and they will put it to use. They'll take that excess voltage above you know, what's being used to charge your batteries and it'll convert it to extra current, so more amps. So about 30 volts and six amps. Now that's coming in from my solar panels. Now that six amps now, if I move it over to the right, using my MPPT controller, you'll see that six amps now is converted into 14.3 amps almost. So 14.2, you know, 14.3 amps going out. Huh? MPPT doing its thing. Coming in, look at that, about 5.8 amps DC and going out, about 14.3 amps going out. So again, that's why I needed an uh, MPPT charge controller instead of a PWM to basically take advantage of that extra um, voltage coming in at you know 29 to 30 to 34 volts um, and you know doing something with it. For my PWM setup I had before that 5.7 amps coming in would only be about six or seven uh, maybe eight amps going out so that's why I needed uh, for these higher voltage panels you need an MPPT charge controller to really take advantage of all the uh, volts you're getting in from those panels. All right, well, I hope I've helped answer some questions you might have had about solar charging and MPPT charge controllers. If you have any more questions about my setup, feel free to leave a comment below 
and I'll do my best to, to answer them. And, uh, you know, because it's really cool. I like helping folks out, you know, sharing what I've learned. Um, but, you know, I'm not an expert. If you have a, an expert opinion on the matter, please leave that below too um, to help the rest of us out. You know, I hope you guys get something out of this and I'm going to be putting more information on my website because I get asked a lot of questions about this and I'm going to put more information out there at uh, rvwithtito.com slash solar <laughs> and uh, you know go check that out I'll put a link below and as always uh, you know you guys you know let me know if you you know got a really cool you know setup that you want to share or some information that you found that might benefit the rest of us um, let us know also leave it in the comments below but yeah like this video subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time inside the coach I'm gonna wire it inside and mount it and also shows the power output um, that it's drawing so also this uh, oh, charge controller so this is the MPPT um, TriStar charge controller from Morningstar it's really similar to the one that I have now, uh, which is the um, TS45. It's the PWM version, but it looks a lot like this, except it's this one's just a little bit bigger. Actually, it's probably about twice as big in terms of depth and everything. But in terms of function, uh, it's wired the same way. Um, it's just that this one is an MPPT charge.